All right, guys. Well, this is tutorial eight. I figured that out in number seven. I couldn't remember what number I was in, but this is number eight. <laughs> anyway, this is a simple tutorial for Gary's Mod. Teaching the basics. If you haven't watched any of the other ones, please go watch the first few and then get back to this one. Anyway, we're just going to go where we left off. Uh, last thing I taught was kind of the motor tool. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Oh, remover tool. I should have taught this one a minute ago. Um, say you got a bunch of stuff. And hey, let me unglitch these out. Not glitched, but anyway. And say, you know, you want those, you want to keep those, but you don't want any of these other ones. You can get the remover tool, just click. Look at that, remove them. They're gone. You don't have to hit Z every you know every time you want to do that. Um, another thing about it is if if they are constrained to each other, so if they have a constraint, like a weld, you know, if they're all together, all a piece, one big old contraption, and you use the remover tool and you right click instead of left click, they all go away. So, you know, that's a easy way to do it. Now, um, if you notice here, these are all kind of glitched into each other, but they're actually not constrained to each other. Just remember that this kind of thing, they're just props. They're just interacting in a weird way. So if I try doing that same thing where I right click, it's not gonna delete all of them because they're, like I said, they're not constrained to each other. Keep that in mind. Um, what else? What else, what else, what else? Stacker. Um, this is not a vanilla one, but it is a very, 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 very handy tool. Um, let's change a couple things. Alright, so say... Say you want to create... You know, that's a crap problem. Say you want to create a wall with these, but you don't want to sit here and put them in place every single one or use the smart weld like we used earlier it's, it's or not smart weld but easy weld um, because it's it's just a pain it doesn't you know it takes forever well the stacker tool is your best friend um, if you look at it you can see that it starts it provides like another ghosted prop when you do and if you click it makes a prop see that it's stacking the props, hence the name. Don't you realize how all these names are all correspond to what they do? Isn't that nice? <laughs> anyway, um, the way this works, this is kind of not very beginner um, because this can get kind of complicated, but I'll take my time on it. You guys probably understand some of this. You've all listened to all these, you're getting smarter. So let's 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 learn some smirts. Okay, so uh, first thing, freeze props. That's obviously when you do that, it's going to freeze it. If it's not checked, that prop can fall down or whatever. Um, weld props. It's also going to weld the two together. So these two are welded, these two are welded, these two are welded. They're all frozen. Um, and then no collide. So if you have that enabled, it'll freeze, no collide, and weld all the, these two and those two and those two. Pretty simple. Alright, and now this is the kind of stuff that gets a little bit complicated. Now, relative to, so that means stack in what direction relative to the prop that you're looking at or the world. Now, if I have my stack direction behind the world, it's gonna go that direction relative to this map. So, you see that? But if I just change to a prop behind, it goes that way. Okay, so the way to think about this is this prop has a forward, a backward, a left, a right, an up, and down, okay? And you don't really ever know when you just look at it unless you're using Stacker Improved. I don't know what's about Stacker version two. I don't remember the difference. Oh, that one's kind of dumb. Anyway, um, so really, oh, are you kidding me? That like glitched out. I'm gonna walk over here. <laughs> this game is really glitchy, guys, so. Don't be surprised when you encounter things that are kind of broken. Anyway, um, so stack relative to prop is always going to be how the prop is oriented. So, see, that's still that direction. That's still 
on that edge of that prop. But relative to world, it has nothing to do with the rip, you know, the orientation of this prop. It has to do with the orientation of the world itself. So just keep that in mind. This is what always screws up people. Relative to prop, relative to world. I always do it to prop because that's generally what I'm doing with. And then stack direction. So right now it's on behind. So that means that that is the behind direction for this prop. So that means if I do it for front, it's going to go that direction. Yep. If I do it, I actually don't know which way is which because I don't know if this is the top or the bottom. But we'll try it to the top. Or up, I should say. I say top. But top is obviously that direction. So that means uh, that's going to be right and that's going to be left. And obviously that will be down. So that's the stack direction. And then the count, which is really useful if you want to stack a ton of props. You can see there. Oh, uh, well, my uh, Falcos won't let me do that. Because my settings, I really should change that, but I'm lazy. Anyway, so stack amount. You can see there that it stacked a ton. Now, you got to keep in mind that these, if, you know, you do that, this considered maybe bad on some, you know, multiplayer servers. Because you can spam that and cause a lot of issues. Just, you know, spawning in props way too fast can be issues. That's why they have anti-spam and whatnot. So just keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, you can create some really useful stuff with this. So say I wanted to create a wall, like I said I was going to do earlier. Do stack. Let's change the direction to left. Oh, that's not the direction I was thinking it was going to be. Let's do it right. Anyway. Bam. And again, fucking... Sorry, anti-spam. Let me watch my language, too. Anyway, so... That can be very, very useful. I can even create a whole wall. So let's go behind. Oh, it's being removed, too. I really should just turn that off when I'm making a video. Note to self, don't be dumb. <laughs> anyway, so you can see here... Oh, jeez, it's really... Can I just do that real quick? Here, hold on. Hold on one second while I go in here. Falco's prop protection, it's, it's really nice for servers and whatnot, and I have this because I have a server at one point, but I really need to just get rid of it, because in single player, it makes no sense. Uh, anti-spam. There we go. <laughs> so anyway, so you can see there that you can create stuff really fast, and it's really useful. Yep. That's the stacker. And um, they have different versions. The regular stacker, um, if you watch, if you play the game a lot, you'll eventually find out it's not the best. Oh, sorry, I didn't even go into the advanced stuff. Anyway, so say you want to do what we just did, but you can see that there's a little bit of a gap in between. And what you can do is you can change this offset to be just a slight amount less. Um, I don't remember what the actual value is, actually. I think it's negative 0.5. Yeah. It generally gives, like, a 0.5 gap. Now you can't even tell where the prop ends and starts. Which is actually right there. <laughs> because they're so close. Anyway, so, um, what that does is it moves it forward and backward relative to what this is. So, again, the relative movement of the forward and backward and whatnot. You have to think about that. You have to keep that in mind. So offset X, forward and back. So that's, I don't know if you can see that in the background. You know what, I might as well show you. If you hold C, so show you on the keyboard in case you don't know where your C button is. That button there, C. If you hold that, it'll come up this screen, which is not. There it goes. Anyway, um, it's called a context menu and it provides a little bit better view of what you're doing when you use a tool. Um, but anyway, so you can see there that it's moving it up and down. Now you can do things like left and right, and the actual up and down, which is actually, um, again, like left and right on here. Um, and that does all that kind of stuff. But if you have um, multiple and you have all this weird setting and then you do it, you can see that it keeps doing that direction. So if I have something a little bit more exaggerated so you can kind of understand what I mean. 
see that. So keep stacking like that. Um, if you do stack relative to new rotation, um, it won't do anything as far as what we're screwing with so far. These three. But it will with these. So make sure that if you're messing with these, that this is turned off or on relative to what you're doing. Um, so if we mess with these, you see how it rotates those? That's what that kind of stuff does. So if you're really patient and you use this tool very, you know, a lot, you can create some really complex things. Um, yeah, you know what? I didn't even... Oh, no, yeah, anyway. So that's what um, that did. Now if I turn on stack relative to new rotation, that's what that will do. So um, when you don't have that enabled, it will keep stacking in that direction. But if you have stack relative to new rotation, it'll keep stacking based on the rotation of the next prop. So that prop is tilted in that angle, so it makes the next prop tilt at a different angle, which makes next. So you can make some really complex, weird shapes. And so if I actually just back up a little bit, and we stare at this, I don't know how well you can see it from the record angle, but you can actually do it in real time, kind of. You can see what you're doing. like. You can do some pretty cool things. You know, I'm running out of time again. Sorry if I uh, if I babble too much and these tutorials kind of go slow, but I like to show a lot of details. So, anyway, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. Uh,